Michael, what's today's audio? I'm comparing DA converters with top-of-the-line DAC chips from ESS Technology and Asahi Kase. Last time, you chose a DA converter with an ESS DAC chip. So, this is a comparison of DA converters with ESS's ES9039 Pro DAC chip and Asahi Kase's AK4499EX DAC chip. Both devices are made by SMSL. The one with ES9039 Pro is SU9 Pro, and the one with AK4499EX is DU300EX. Master would also like to hear about the DA converters equipped with ESS and Asahi Kase's top-of-the-line DAC chips, wouldn't you? Yes, yes, I want to hear it, I want to hear it. Did you find any difference between the two devices? To sum up, there was a difference between the two devices. The SU-9 Pro with the ES9039 Pro had better resolution and left-right separation. Before the test, I expected the difference between the two devices to be indistinguishable, but there was quite a difference. ESS and Asahi Kase are the two major DAC manufacturers, but each has its own unique characteristics. I could understand why these two companies coexist. There were differences between the two. What kind of equipment do you use? The sound source is Amazon Music. The network streamer is LinkPlay's WeM Pro Plus. Coaxial digital output to each DAC. The amplifier is a Luxman L 505Z, and the speakers are BNW 705S3. The coaxial digital cable was Mogami's 2964, from the DAC to the amp. The cable was Belden's 88770 with balanced output. Are the specs different between the two units? They are almost the same. Here is the specs list. The SU-9 Pro uses the ES9039 Pro DAC chip, and the DU300EX uses the AK4499EX. Both are MQA compatible. They also have the same DDC, the XU-316. THD plus N is minus 125 dB for SU-9 Pro and minus 124 dB for DU300EX, with SU-9 Pro being slightly superior. The number of operational amplifier channels is 11 for the SU-9 Pro and 5 for the DU300EX. The reason for this is not clear. More operational amplifiers are not necessarily better. The same CK-03 clock is used. The SNR of the SU-9 Pro is 134 dB and that of the DU-300EX is 132 dB with the SU-9 Pro being superior here as well. Prices on Amazon are $434 for the SU-9 Pro and $469 for the DU-300EX, with the DU-300EX being $35 more expensive. Are the terminals the same on the two units? The terminals are quite different. Let's start with the front panel. The SU 9 Pro has only a volume control. The DU 300EX has 4.4 mm and 6.35 mm headphone jacks and volume. The SU 9 Pro does not have headphones. So, even within the same price range, some have headphone jacks and some do not. There are many SMSL DACs, so some have a headphone jack and some do not. What about the back panel? The optical and coaxial digital inputs are the same, but the SU-9 Pro has a USB-B port, and the DU300EX has a USB-C port and an I2S port. What is an I2S terminal? I2S stands for Inter-IC Sound. I2S is a communication standard for transferring mainly digital audio data. It is most often used inside audio equipment, but some devices have I2S terminals for external devices. 
The difference between I2S and SPDIF is the accuracy of communication. However, optical and coaxial SPDIF are more resistant to noise and are generally used for digital communication with external devices. Only the DU 300EX has a power switch on the rear panel. The SU9 Pro only has a remote power on off switch. Are there any other differences? The size of the enclosure is different. Both are small compared to full size audio, but the SU9 Pro is even smaller. The SU9 Pro has no headphone jack and fewer digital inputs which is probably why it is smaller. The SU9 Pro weighs 790 grams and the DU 300EX weighs 1.54 kilograms, both of which are quite light. The SU9 Pro weighs only half as much as the DU 300EX with only a few headphone related and digital inputs. The remote control is exactly the same on the two units. The power cables are slightly different, but both are three pin. The sound quality setting items on the two units are different. I have lined up the settings of the two units I have made. The two DAC chip manufacturers are different, so they can't have the same settings. I set it to a setting that I thought sounded good. The pre mode is fixed for the SU9 Pro and bypass for the DU 300EX, both of which disable the DAC volume. The SU9 Pro has eight PCM filter settings set to min phase, and the DU 300EX has six PCM filter settings set to low dispersion. The SU9 Pro has four DSD filter settings set to 47 kHz cut off, and the DU 300EX has two set to wide. Sound color was set to standard for 10 types for the SU9 Pro and sound for for four types for the DU 300EX. DPLL is a function available only on the SU9 Pro and can be set in 15 steps. The smaller the value, the more jitter reduction is possible. DPLL seems to be related to the PCM filter setting. When PCM filter was off and DPLL was set low, noise was noticeable. When I set the PCM filter setting to min phase, I did not notice any noise at all, even with the DPLL set to MIN. DAC settings are difficult, aren't they? There are many parameters that don't change that much, so you may not have to set them that severely. However, the PCM filter and DPLL settings on the SU9 Pro can change the sound quite a bit, so you should be careful with the settings. What were the characteristics of the two companies' DAC chips? ESS's ES9039 Pro is characterized by its sharp high frequency range and higher resolution. Each note reached my ears clearly. On the other hand, Asahi Kase's AK4499EX has a mellower sound. Compared to the ES9039 Pro, it has a more subdued sound. BMW's 705S3 has a crisp sound, so I think the ES9039 Pro is a better match. Moreover, the ES9039 Pro has better left-right separation. I believe that a sense of separation between left and right is also important for stereo reproduction. I feel good when I can hear the left and right sides of the speakers separately. Since both the SU9 Pro and DU 300EX are SM cell products, I expected that the sound would not be that different. There would be a lot of shared components. But the sound was very different when the DAC chips were different. Once again, I thought I had to try audio by myself. Why was the sound quality so different between ESS and Asahi Kasi? I think it is the direction of sound production. I don't think Asahi Kase is inferior by any means. I think the AK4499EX is a better match for mellow speakers. Michael's preference would be the ES9039 Pro? Yes, I think so. I have been using ESS DAC chips, ES9018K2M, 
and ES9038Q2M. But the ES9039 Pro is of a higher rank. I thought that ESS DAX would have the same sound, but the ES9039 Pro is completely different. The price of the DAC chip is indeed different by many times. DAC chips are very important. I could understand it well from the comparison between ESS and Asahi Kase's top-end DAC chips. Master, do you want a DA converter using the highest-grade DAC chip? Yes, yes, I want one. 